We're done with that now? Okay. So I don't have to talk to you assholes anymore. Boom! We're looking at mini projectors, micro projectors, mini micro projectors, micro LED projectors. Have some giant, ooh, I hate the stand on this one. I'm just gonna break it. There we go. There we go. Yeah! Now, we're looking at two micro projectors. Pico projectors, we'll go with Pico. Both running Android, both tiny. In fact, let me get a flashlight so I could illustrate things without turning the goddamn roof lights on and off. Here's that Anchor Bluetooth speaker, which I was just using outside, because since they're both Android devices, you can literally go into their menus and say, hey, Bluetooth, hook up to this, or Bluetooth, hook up to this keyboard. Or Bluetooth hook up to literally any Bluetooth device on Earth. Now, this one is called the Projector Projector. Projector, it literally has no brand name. And this one is the Aodin. And they're both very different. They're about the same price. They're under $300 each. And they're both very different and both have their own little quirks. And I say quirk because I don't want to say fucking kill somebody. Now, how do I want to start this, or end it, or start ending it? I know what I'll do. We're going to talk about their physical problems first. So I'm going to do this. The Aodin was the first one I received. And I was supposed to actually do three of these, and this is why I delayed and delayed and delayed. But that third one never showed up. And the problem, the immediate problem with the Aodin is it projects straight. If you look at that, it's like a flashlight. You're holding it towards the center of it, it's projecting at the center, that's it, it's done. The focus ring is here, is very sketchy. Like it goes from absolute blur, which I don't understand because there's no distance where that is correct. So it goes to blurry constantly, or you push it all the way forward until it's pretty much focused, and then you just, you hope you let go of it at the right exact moment to make it focus. All the pixels, Chewbacca loves these by the way, all the pixels are diamond shaped instead of in a screen door pattern, which does good and bad things. For images, it makes it look a little better because you don't notice it as much if the pixels of your video aren't lining up with the pixels of the projector. It sort of blurs it and then smooths it out. However, text looks a little funky because most text is made of vertical straight lines, so now you have little jaggies to make all the text. This Aodin's, the reason that this Aodin is gonna get possibly more purchases from this video than that one, the projector projector, which I believe has better video quality, is this will shoot a larger screen from closer. You could see it is, there is what that can do and this is what this can do as, around the same thing. And we're, I have to go decline because I'm not. What is it, baby puss? I need to see what I'm doing, hold on. Return, just hit return, okay. And you can see that from the same distance, it is putting out probably a 15% larger screen, which means you could put it in a room and get a bigger screen. Blue, don't go blind. She's super interested in these. 15% larger screen, it's slightly brighter, 
but that's DLP. It says DLP, and I know it's DLP because Army of Darkness, when I have that on in a second, my boomstick looks fantastic. This doesn't need a remote control to work. It has a remote control. They both have remote controls. In fact, the remote controls are in my pockets because they're both happy to see me. Here it is. Here's the Aodin's remote. It's pretty standard fare. Home button, up, down, left, right, is to control through the menus, to control these menus. I don't have enough uh, batteries to fill this up. It doesn't come with batteries, so drop that on the floor. But you don't need the remote because you've got, look, right here on this unit. If you stay at a hotel room or you give this to your kids for their birthday, they're just going to be able to go, okay, hold on, I'm going to go to this, I'm going to go to, I want to watch a movie. Cody player. This one literally comes, no, I don't want that. I want the calendar. It comes with a Cody built in. If you don't know what Cody is, Cody is, and I hope you can see this, because I really want to not be doing this in total darkness. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care about that. I don't care about it. Lower that, lower that a bit, yeah. A little more, perfect, 30. Cody does videos, music, pictures, add-ons. My friend has this on his home theater PC, it's all he uses. So let's go down here, videos, let's go to video files. There's at least one, there's always gonna be at least one. PVR recordings add an internal SD. I'm actually browsing through no, there's nothing on here. It has a micro SD card slot, which means you can fill it up with, I'm assuming, lots of video types. I haven't tried them all, and I, I actually have all my micro SD cards in portable players for review, so couldn't start ripping those apart. Two USB plugs in this, two. And I think about due to un unmet dependencies, you'd like to disable it on your system. No? No? Whatever. Get me out of Cody. We're going to leave Cody for a second. That's super cool. Alright, look. Here's when you're buying this. You're buying it for your kids. So they can go in their room and they can do that. You're buying it for yourself in the office because you just want to be a dick and have a giant 70 inch screen. When the, and shut your lights off and be a dick. Yeah, exiting Cody takes a while. Or, you're in a hotel. You're waiting for your drug dealer to show up and sell you drugs. You pull one of these out. You get off your plane, you pull one of these out. Comes a little tripod. This one especially, you don't need the remote, so you're just good to go. It just plays things. You can get a Bluetooth set of headphones, play Bluetooth headphones with the Bluetooth on this or that. And you're, and you're rocking and rolling. You're rocking and rolling, tubers. For under $300, that's amazing. This is going to do whatever it's doing because it's taking freaking forever. The benefit... Oh, she's got the cable caught in her tail. I was going to point it until it stopped being funny. The Aodin is a flashlight. It fires straight forward, and I can't believe it's literally locked up. On leaving Cody. Exit. Alright, we'll see what that does. This is a good test. The benefit of the projector brand projector is it'll sit down here and just like a real projector, you could slide it back on a table. You see where it is currently? It's not projecting onto the surface of this box because that's how projectors are supposed to be. They're supposed to be able to be sat down on a tabletop and never hit the tabletop. They shoot up. That's when you flip them upside down, you mount them to the ceiling and they shoot down. This Aodin, if I take it off of the stand, which by the way, they both come with those little stands, just boom, shoots all over the table. So you gotta have it at the edge of a surface and you gotta have it in the middle of where you want it to project. That's a big negative to me. Now they will both do, well at least this one will do keystone correction, which if you don't know what that is, it'll shrink the top or the bottom, it'll contract it in so it looks square. I highly don't recommend you do that unless you want to throw away pixels and light. Because all it does is make this a non-square box and then it fixes it, but it doesn't fix it. This is a way better system what this is doing. I'm going to hold the power button down on this. I'm going to restart it because it's just being a dick. That went off instantly, by the way. You're looking at probably four plus hours of battery life for this. 
just running. Playing a movie, like internally reading it, maybe less. We'll find out at some point. Not this moment though. Right, I'm gonna turn that back on. The video quality of the projector projector is better. The focus knob is knurled and external so I could actually feel it and adjust properly. It isn't just some hidden piece of plastic that I'm sort of like flicking, just flicking. You know this move, don't you guys? It's flicking until it maybe focuses. Meow. Meow. Now I want to just hit buttons on this to make it go, but there's no buttons to press in this. I got to pick up its remote. And its remote can be finicky. If you're back here, she doesn't want to work, doesn't want to work, go to the top. Oh, she went down. Now, now she's sort of working. Directly above from at least two feet away, directly below from at least two feet away. Yeah, you could see the, uh, the state of issue with that right there. So here, Chewbacca, you play on that side of the room. I don't believe this has Cody on it. It does have a whole bunch of other things and MX Player, which mad respect for that. It's got the YouTube app easy accessible. It's got Netflix installed. These are ready to go. $300, just shit kicker units. Come on, over. I ha it has one video internally on it, which so it's playing outside, which come on, that wasn't cool. Having this, yeah, let's go to the settings. I'll show you the, the Wi-Fi settings and everything. It's straight. You want to be parallel with what you've got. And I want to lower my lights a little more. Just a little bit more. Boom. So you get Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, USB settings, display, which... Uh, basically brightness, which I don't believe actually changes the LED. It should be at the highest setting. No, it's not the highest setting. Now it is. And then there's return. Sorry, i got to keep looking. Back to settings. Input language, backup, reset, date and time, all this stuff. Now, I haven't signed in to my Google account on this for reasons of security. Because, I don't know, Chinese projectors just shouldn't know my password. Let's see what MX Player has to offer. Alright, so we are connected to, wi to my Wi-Fi, so I should be able to update this. Complete action using free click. See, now here's... I bought a Chinese tablet, and when it showed up, it had a Chinese keyboard installed, and only a Chinese keyboard installed. And it wasn't Chinese characters where I couldn't type, it was just a keyboard didn't need to be there. So I had to sign into my Google for the very first time to access the Play Store with a Chinese keyboard installed, and that was just like the sketchiest shit ever. So just like this, what the fuck is free click? And why would I want to update a program using not the Play Store? So let's make sure we use that, and we use it always. I don't, tr I don't fully trust Chinese devices that are just, mmm, they're just phishing things. Do you want to exist? Uh, see, I have to go back and start doing Google things, so I'm not going to bother. Return, return, oh, go back. I want to do the one demo video. Cancel demo video. It's going to be the same one. Yeah, I'm going to resume it. Did I kick my Bach bear? This is so interesting. Okay. Hold on, Chewbacca. Home. We're done. HDMI, you say? Now here's the issue. These have, and they should, they share these things, and I'm gonna turn the lights back up now. This is good that I'm doing this at the fourth time, because I'm actually getting it right. This one has one USB, one micro SD, HDMI out, headphone out, which I could either use that Bluetooth or headphones, like physically plugged in. All of this is venting out, vent here. Is that the infrared receiver? That's something there. And then your focus wheel on the side, more vents in the bottom. They both come with a quarter by 20 mounts, so you could get just a legit tripod to mount this on. Again, you're not going to be able to do a party. If there's any lights on, that's what it looks like. You could, you could make it out, but it's not enjoyable. We'll put this back down here. 
Um, this HDMI cable actually comes with the Aodin, which is nice. The Aodin's main benefits, because I gotta give it a fighting chance. Bigger screen, brighter colors, buttons on the unit. That, that's it. That is a th and it has two USBs instead of one, which means you could plug in a USB keyboard, like a legit full size. Where the hell did my entire keyboard go? There it is. It's very late for Zeus. Now this will work on both, but I've been playing with it mostly on the Aodin. You could take your, you know, slightly bigger than a phone, plug that in. Oh, look at that. And now we have the inability to show you jack shit. That's close enough. Boom, right there. So it's actually powering this entire keyboard and all the LEDs. Let's give it a break. Let's lower the brightness of that. And here we could just we can navigate Cody. We can navigate the browser. You could do this with a wire with a Bluetooth keyboard. You could do this with a wireless keyboard. Just you know, let's see what the my favorites are. It is backspace, right? Escape. Escape. So I mean, just just my key, you could look. There you go. My keyboard now officially has a projector in it. What you gonna say something? You say something bad about it? I like the menu system of the Aodin better than I like the menu system of the projector brand projector. Because again, it has no. That says Aodin. It says the date and time. It shows you the icons. This is as plain Jane as you get. You see, we've got the battery life is there. Bluetooth is on. Wi-Fi. Time according to this is 2011. Because again, I haven't hooked it up to do anything else. We got Happy Cast. I mean, we got a load Netflix. What we're actually going to do now, though, because you know, if you, you see it, it can do it. What I want to do is load the HDMI, which will now load the greatest movie ever in the history of movies. You know, Christopher Nolan can suck my ass. Because you know what? He didn't do Army of Darkness. It could use some tweaking. It's a little bit blown out contrast wise. The, dark, the blacks again aren't as black as they could possibly be. Colors are okay. I mean, for what I'm doing, I, I could have, well, first of all, I could enjoy Army of Darkness uh, at the bottom of the sea, unable to breathe. I'd be like, oh, oh, Army of Darkness. Oh, oh, oh. And I would just watch Army of Darkness. So it gets slightly passing grades for that alone. Here is, let me try to focus this now. Oh, so I've got a folder up. It's running native resolution, which I think is 1368 by 760. It's a weird, like mid mid game resolution. And since we can get this close to it, you could see that they're diamond shape and not squares, which makes the text at this size readable. Like that says 47 Ronin, 13th Warrior. Great movie, by the way, 1941. There's the size in jiggas. You could see all of that. And when you step back here, you almost don't notice that the pixels are diamonds. Diamond pixels make text look funny because the letter I is a vertical line and you have to go jaggy edges to make it show up. So let's make something else play. Something that doesn't suck. Something that looks great. Ooh. Now, Oh, Deadpool's here. We'll just put some Deadpool on, because why wouldn't we put Deadpool on? Don't be stupid. Is Deadpool a 16 by 9 movie? No, it's not. Now, the strange thing, this laptop identifies this projector as a screen and as an audio device. It shows it there. It says HTV. Yet, selecting that device as default this, let me just make sure I don't have it actually physically set as the output. Hold on. Oh no, I do have it set. So that means I could do system default. So that was my bad. Let me close this and reopen it. That should mean... So now that's playing, which sounds worse, but why isn't that outputting to the Bluetooth speaker. Did the Bluetooth speaker disconnect? No, Bluetooth is still connected. It's very strange that 
the HDMI is passing audio into this baby projector, and the baby projector is was passing to that Bluetooth speaker, and it should still be, and it isn't. And I don't know why. And I have to go, and I have to r return out of HDMI, and go into the settings. Bluetooth, right there, Bluetooth. Sound core, connected, it's connected, it's connected. So, and no, I don't want to do that. It's, it is the thing. It just won't pass from H, it won't pass the HDMI audio back out through Bluetooth. And that's like a fuck, that sucks. It's still, ha I want it here. It's got to still work. I don't have a clapper. When am I going to get a clapper? Zeo seems to review a clapper. Here. So I've got an auxiliary cable. Let's see what that does. Which this should take over immediately. Okay. And now we're going to plug into this. Okay. And now we're going to hit play. Oh, now we're going to go back to HDMI. That should be playing. So... They won't disappoint. They better not. And what about next month's shipments? They won't be one. You're not the only one with a water wing. That won't do. It's very strange. The little, the little quirks that take so friggin' long to figure out. And it's like, well, why does it do this? Well, why does it do this? Well, why does it... This unit, if I keep tripping on that, give me this. I don't need that. I mean, you could use the USB keyboard more on this. You, you don't have to have this, this. I have this. So now I'm going to plug this. Now I'm going to plug in this. And now I'm going to see that. And then we're going to plug in here. Oh, it's too low again, because it's it's just the way it's built. Chewbacca, you play with that. I'm going to now navigate to HDMI was right there in the corner. It should be playing us our movie. Did I pause the movie? No signal. Checking the plug. Unplugging and replugging HDMI. Wait. There we go. Okay. Is the HDMI cord that bad? The HDMI cord is just not liking my laptop. So, yeah, that looks overly sharp. Way too much contrast. No color. I mean, it's happening and it's happening bigger. So the brightness is automatically negated because. Ah, oh, shit! I it's... forgot my ammo bag. So we turn back? No, no time. Oh, my okay, ceiling. I got this. 9, 10, 11, 12 bullets or bust. Right here! Oh. Can I pause uh... this video? No, I can mute the speaker though. So, yeah. Two things. The video quality is worse on the Aodin. Just, just, contrast is fucking destroyed. Colors look bad, everything looks cheap. And the second problem is, Windows key M. Well now it's throwing. Interesting. It's trying to freestyle. Uh, 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 uh. So, like I was saying, the other issue is it is cropping. So if I bring up my start menu, cutting off the bottom, it's cutting off the side, it's cutting off this side, it's cropping the actual, like you're not getting edge to edge. The signal should be bringing it out here and it's just, I, I've tried everything to get that to fix.
remember that scene in Signs with the baby monitor? Yeah, that's freaking me out. I'm done with that. Screw that. Screw this whole review. It's over. No, but seriously, it crops. Which means our beautiful lady there, you're not seeing every inch of her. And that is a terrible, terrible shame. It's cutting off right by her head. It just, it's... I can't... For visual quality alone, I can't recommend the Aodin. It's got the better features, though. The Aodin has... Hey, wait, let's put her up, because I don't think we actually... I wish I had an HDMI splitter and we could actually compare directly. Ugh. First of all, that just automatically plays. Yeah, you can see there's just more around her. Actual skin tone is happening, and I know this is a very Zeos thing to be looking at it with. Now it's playing. Oh, because the movie's just minimized. Okay. Yeah, this... I count this projector, the projector brand projector, as an actual viable projector. The image quality... You're not going to need to not buy a $2,000 projector and you can get away with this. But it's good enough for Zeos. Zeos has pretty high video standards. And the Aodin does not make it. It just doesn't make it. It doesn't say not, it doesn't say DLP. I'm not sure if it is and they just never labeled it. But this thing is just enough to satisfy your needs at a hotel, your needs in a brothel, your needs on a plane, your needs in the back of a car, your kids needs, your kids need these. It plays video. It plays Bluetooth when you have the sources internally. And if you're plugging it in, like I'm plugging in HDMI, which means I could Bluetooth my laptop to that speaker and then it would absorb this problem entirely. So in t it can, you saw it, the very start of this video was that projector playing internally video and outputting the sound to a Bluetooth speaker that was somewhere else. That's fucking magic as far as I'm concerned. 10, 12 year old me, you hook them up with a $60 Bluetooth speaker and a $260 projector and say, here you go. I'm the coolest kid in fucking school, ever. Ever in school. Ever that went to a school. It's just, it's just what happens. One more, one more movie before the road. One more drink before the war. Fury's very dark. See, alright. Fury's dark, Forrest Gump's bright, First Blood is great. I don't have, like, where's the brightest stupid movie I have? Oh, I just opened The Departed? No, 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 What is it doing? Everything's gone to shit. Now it's my laptop freaking out, I think. Yeah, Alt X. It's like it got some weird signal to kill itself. All right, enough. Enough with all of this. I will give you my, my final my final thoughts, which should always be my first thoughts. I should start with final thoughts. These videos will be way shorter. Cats love these things. You have a cat that's that adorable, which nobody does. Belly, 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 bitey. Look at her bite me. No one has a cat that adorable, so just pff, stick a fork in it. You're done. I'm going to find... And I, it's not going to be verified, but I'm going to find an Aodin style projector with quality picture ratings as high as the projector projector that has the buttons on it. And then you're golden. And you're golden. You're just golden. Because right now, it just isn't making go. Just make that out. Just make that out. By the way, download to that wallpaper in the description, like always. Now... <clears throat> The company sent me these, so they didn't cost me a dime. However, if you'd still like to support this channel, there's a Patreon link in the corner. That will get you access to all of these videos early, which is good in the case there's a rush on something and I say, hey, this is really good. And then they disappear from the internet. And you think that's a joke. It's not a joke. It's called the Zeos effect. Look it up. There's that. Uh, I will be doing 
monthly or bi-monthly yard sales for items that I've bought or have been sent to me that maybe I don't need in the house and I, I want to fund this channel more. It's not a prick move if I just, you know, okay, that's great. Sell it. Sell it for a fraction of the cost. No, no, it's a blind silent auction to anyone who wants it. I got speakers and headphones and, and portable players and every number of things that are going to just be sold to anyone in the $5 or higher tier because money begets money and I need to afford to buy subwoofers and shit when people say review them because not everything gets sent to me. And, uh, yeah, there's a Twitch thing happening too. I won't get specific about that. And you could also find me on Reddit, on RZOS or RZ Reviews. And, um, yes. Yes, I love it. There we go. Everyone like these things? Everyone want one of these now? Good. I'm going to shut off and put my big Epson 8350 back on because that thing cost me twelve or $1,300. Three years ago, four years ago, still going strong. Just the lens is disgusting. These will never replace those. But you know what? If you don't have a projection, you've never had one. That is the perfect thing with training wheels. It's just ready to rock and roll. Goodbye, Chewbacca. Let's make Chewbacca into a pretty anime girl. Boom. My life is done.